my father had this business before I did with some another. They were there was it was kind of like a family business. It was a family business. I have a daughter that's a singer, and she's really great. But the rest of the country doesn't know about it yet. But anyway, in the early part of the imports, I was. I said, well, I'll write a song for it. And I forget what it was, but in there it had to do with Shem Creek and how we were losing. At the time, we still had quite a few boats in here, but I, I wrote it and it, it, I had one line in there, or maybe it was near the end, that said, uh, tell the shrimpers they'll have to go, but leave us one boat for show. We think that we wish it was all local, you know, that it was either uh, caught wild or raised locally. Uh, rather than brought in from overseas, so we we've got a few restaurants that buy buy our shrimp and and uh, um, they they advertise, and we've got a few um, um, retailers that buy our product, and they advertise that it is local. And uh, I wouldn't deal with somebody that would just buy a few of my things, so they could advertise that the imports were local. If they advertise fresh seafood or local seafood, it should be local. And when I say local, it can be from Texas to here. I care less. It's still caught in the United States. But don't say you got local seafood when you buy in uh, Vietnam and China shrimp. We went through some tough times. We've in the past 10 years, shrimpers have went through some really, really tough times. So. I just enjoy being a fisherman, and um, right now we're not catching a whole lot of uh, shrimp, but when you do catch a lot of shrimp, it's a big rush, and I enjoy it. My business is just staying alive. I, I, I mean, if I didn't love to do it, would I be in it? No. Nope. Would, I, would I stay and do this? No. Nope. But I love to do it. I mean, I'm not... I'm far from being rich. I'm far from being having a big bank account, but I just love to do it. No, I don't get nothing out the grocery store anymore, uh, which it is probably uh, cheaper. But uh, the old saying is, you know, you get what you pay for. To me, uh, our government is letting so much in, uh, dumping so much stuff, and not regulating. I mean, you can buy you can buy clams from China now. Uh, all packed and frozen in cute little boxes. I think imported shrimp has hit us the most. And now fuel prices is just as bad as the imports. And um, if something don't happen with the fuel prices, you'll see a lot more shrimpers going out of business simply because they just can't do it. You, you, you just can't run a business when you're losing, 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 losing all the time. You can't do it. I guess I said I, I, I'm doing it just to have something to do, <laughs> you, you know. But I love to do it. I love the ocean. That's my life. So, I mean, I sit up, I sit up here days and don't make a dime. I mean, it's been days I don't make ten cents, but I'm still here, and I come here every t every morning with a smile, whether that smile stay on my face now. <laughs> But I come here every morning with a smile.